An Omaha woman says she's living in inhumane conditions in her North Omaha apartment, and she's not the only one who feels that way. The city inspected the property and found dozens of safety violations so bad that it has given the landlord 30 days to fix all of the problems or it will be condemned. 3 News Now investigator Jeff Van Sant has been looking into the problems. He joins us in the newsroom with more. Jeff? Yeah, landlords are supposed to provide at least the basics for a tenant, like a safe living space. But one woman says her landlord isn't living up to his end of the deal. This is not right. I'm not living. Mice, rot, loose wiring. Francina Wilson deals with it all. The fuse boxes, they're not right. They're not sitting right. Um, I have a whole water meter that is upside down that belongs to 4418 that is not supposed to be in his home. Conditions she says no one should live in. I was laying in the bed watching TV one night and a mice had went down and got in the bed. So it actually fell out? It fell out the vent because the vent is not all the way screwed in. She lives in this small three bedroom basement apartment off Ames in North Omaha. Francina says it's a battle to get anything fixed, sometimes calling the management company dozens of times a day, and she says to no avail. I asked and I asked and I've been asking. I can't ask no more. Feeling she didn't have any options, Francina reached out to the city. What inspectors found is shocking. 30 code violations ranging from renovations done without a permit or inspection, loose wires, fire hazard, to going as far as saying the unit is not a legal or habitable living space. The city gave the management company until the beginning of March to correct the problem or condemn not only her apartment, but the entire building. I'm not living human. I'm, I'm living like a person that, how could I put it? Um, Basically, I'm living like I'm in the street, and this is not fair. Three News Now investigators reached out to Orange Property Management, who runs that property. The company's CEO, Jerry Schlickburn, gave us a statement saying, the conditions of the property are not an accurate representation of how the company maintains this property or any property it manages. She also says the company is immediately taking action to address the code violations. Schlickburn also claims Francina has a history of not cooperating, not allowing maintenance to be done, an accusation Francina denies. We don't have nothing, and we deserve better than this. Francina is on a fixed income, disabled, and she feels stuck in her situation, but you can find help. It is good to have evidence at your disposal, particularly to protect against any future action taken by a landlord against a tenant. Scott Mertz is a managing attorney at Legal Aid Nebraska, an organization that helps low-income tenants. Our clients are at the mercy of the market and at the mercy of what is available and what they can afford. And a lot of our clients do have to make some pretty tough decisions. Three News Now helped Francina get connected with an attorney with Family Housing Advisory Services. They are now dealing with the management company. So far, she's out of her lease, found a new home, and will be moving soon. She hopes others in her situation can know there is some good that can come out of this. I feel that I have been used for years. And right now I'm not comfortable and I just, I don't want another family to get caught up in the same situation that I'm in right now. And this needs to come to a stop. Now, Orange Management, uh, Orange Property Management told Francina she has to be out of the apartment before the end of the month. They provided her with a list of local shelters that she could use. Francina felt this was a slap in the face. Jeff Ansant, 3 News Now.